In my lesson, I used a lot of great visuals, like I used caption videos and bright pictures to keep kids' attention. I also used physical interactive visuals, like holding up my fingers and having the kids count them. I also used check-ins often with kids saying thumbs up or thumbs down to check for understanding. These tools I will be using in my future classroom. I also need to work on my timing. I learned that in this lesson. For a virtual lesson, making sure that I'm staying within the time limit for class. And I also need to make sure I use this in person. For example, if I have to get my kids to art or music in time. A peer really stood out to me when they used physical objects. Barb used actual, I don't know what they were, but objects in her lesson, which I thought that was really cool. Um, it helped catch my attention as the person watching her video. And I think this could be really great for me to use as a show and show and tell tool in my in my classroom. I think a lot of students could benefit from physical objects such as the base 10 blocks um, to just physically have the material in their hands to learn and understand. With this assignment, I learned how to caption videos on YouTube. I never knew how to do this before and it was time consuming, but I think it would be very helpful in my future for subplans, online learning, or other resources for my students.